this issue I will demonstrate another autopilot mode, Control Wheel Steering or CWS. Instead of long explanations I will show you first, based on examples, what you can this mode use for. In the second part you see more examples and I will explain how it works and how to enable it. In the last part of the video I show you a great feature you might never have seen before. Regardless if your main topic is General Aviation, Airbus, Boeing or flying carpets. Okay, let's go. Let us assume that you are in autopilot roll mode and altitude hold mode. And you would like to fly a right turn. To do this, let the autopilot engaged. Just move the stick to the right. After you have established the desired bank angel, just release the stick. The autopilot maintains the commanded bank angel and altitude for you. To finish the turn, move the stick to the left until you have established a bank angel of below 6 degrees. Now just release the stick. The autopilot levels out for you. You can consider this, if you like, as a kind of manual flying supported by the autopilot. Now let us assume you descend in autopilot vertical speed mode and you have commanded a sink rate of 500 feet per minute. To change that to 1000 feet there is no need to fiddle around with the buttons. Just push the stick, pitch will change until AFCS status box displays 1000. Release the stick and lean back. In this way you changed autopilot settings without the need to press any buttons. Very useful not only for pilots using VR headsets. To be able to do that in the DA62 config tool, Auto CWS must be enabled. This is the default setting for the DA62 out of the box. Try it. There also exists a manual CWS mode I will explain later. During usage of CWS, a white CWS status message replaces the AP message in the status box. That means autopilot is disengaged and disappears when you release the stick. Autopilot gets engaged again. CWS works only when autopilot is engaged. The behavior in every autopilot mode is different.
Now let us assume you want to fly a one minute turn while maintaining altitude. Engage roll mode and altitude hold mode. Increase bank angel until the associated marker on top of the CDI indicates the desired turn speed. Now release the stick. The Auto CWS mode is a special mode only available in the Vertex version of the DA62. But it is very useful, for example, to give CWS a try out of the box without the need to fiddle around with any flight simulator settings. This mode does not exist in the real DA62. There is also a manual CWS mode which reflects the behavior of the real DA62. It works this way. You assign a CWS button at your joystick or yoke. As long as you hold the button, you are in CWS mode. To use the manual mode, two things have to be done. First, you need a CWS button, just as in the real thing. The Vertex DA62 has assigned this button to the following prepared function Cabin Alert, no smoking. Assign a joystick or yoke button just as you do that in other cases. More info about that you find in the Vertex DA62 user guide. Second, start the DA62 config tool and change settings to CWS manual mode. This is very simple. Switch Auto CWS mode off. CWS mode now works just like the real thing. I use manual mode now. I fly an initial approach here. The G1000 calculates and flies the descent. There are several solutions for this twisting approach. Placing more waypoints. Disconnecting autopilot. Here I will give CWS a try. Change to roll mode by pressing the heading button twice. Lateral GPS mode is roll mode now. Vertical VPTH mode still remains engaged. Can apply elevator and aileron CWS inputs at the same time. Any deviation from the descent path gets corrected by the autopilot after CWS mode gets disengaged. VPTH mode is still active, flying the descent for you. Even when you left vertical path during CWS mode, 
VNAF will not disengage. We'll get you back on the calculated descent path. For more info about this mode, have a look into the Garmin G1000 manual, Automatic Flight Control System chapter. Garmin calls the autopilot like that. Every chapter describing an AFCS mode there also contains all info regarding CWS usage. You find VPDH mode in Garmin's manual, page 425. Chapter 7 AFCS, subchapter 7.3 Vertical modes, section Vertical navigation modes. At high lateral angel differences to the active flight plan leg, as it is the case here, effective command at sync rate reduces accordingly. Here from about 700 feet per minute to about 500 feet per minute. Be aware that this aircraft has no auto throttle. You need to increase power to maintain airspeed. Or place more waypoints to reflect the actual path to be flown more accurate. For additional info regarding the Auto CWS mode not used here, have a look into the very helpful and understandable Vertex DA62 user guide contains more details in a nutshell. Minor corrections are easier and smoother to apply in manual CWS mode than in auto CWS mode. You can access the Garmin manual via the Vertex DA62 config tool. Also via the config tool you have access to my YouTube channel containing this one and more videos about the Vertex Simulations Diamond DA62. Just open the user guide via the config tool. 500. Go to the last page and click on the link.
hope it was useful for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.